Hey guys, we made it to Hatteras 15 and a half hours later. It's actually really good timing for us. Um, we made it here pretty much without any interruptions. We did have a little bit of a delay leaving Ontario, but aside from that, the drive was really good. Um, I didn't do any driving. It was all Dave and Yuri, so thanks guys so much for getting us here safely. We took a brief pit stop here to check out the bridge. It's pretty cool. They're building a brand new one right beside the existing one. Um, I've personally never seen like the construction of a bridge quite like this so close up, so driving by is pretty neat. So that's why we figured we'd pull over and uh, get some shots here as well. And yeah, we're, we're very close to our house. I think we're about 20 minutes away. So once we get there, we'll show you around. All right, I'll see you in a bit. right behind us however we don't get the keys till four o'clock we are whew, it's so bright <laughs> we're the first of our group that's here it's about 11 o'clock right now so we've got about five hours before we can get inside um, so we're just gonna kite <laughs> was saying was supposed to be 15 knots it's probably closer to 10. I'm on my 15 meter kite right now and just kind of barely mowing the lawn um, but I'm gonna keep riding gonna attempt some jumps maybe some back rolls as well and we'll see how it goes hopefully the wind will pick up though where's the wind <laughs> and then the wind died down even more so now we're just hanging out on the beach we still haven't gotten the keys to our house in fact the whole group hasn't quite shown up yet um, so we're waiting we're just waiting on the beach having beers and just having a good time so this is where we're staying for the whole week as you can see the house is ginormous I believe there's about 20 of us staying in this house and then we've got another 17 or so staying at another house or another two houses it's a huge group um, but yeah, you're going to meet a lot of people this week, as are we. <laughs> we are going to give you the grand tour of our vacation house, starting with the most important aspect of the whole house, the pool. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. Here's the pool. Here's the bar. But oh, there's the kite. Let's go over there. <laughs> Alright, let's take a little tour of our room. So we're on the bottom floor, which is fine by us. Very quick access to the beach. Perfect. Dry our stuff right here. Um, we are also located right outside of the hot tub, which is perfect for especially getting out after a session. Hop in the hot tub, hop in the shower. Perfect. Alright, let's go inside. We're inside our bedroom right now. We have a queen size bed. Um, we have a nice big closet where we have our kite gear stored and wetsuits and towels and all that fun stuff. Uh, we have our own little bathroom over here. Don't judge us, it's kind of messy. Yuri never puts the seat down, so, you know, men. And if the hot tub wasn't good enough, come see this. They even stocked the fridge just for me. Hello. <laughs> we know what my diet's gonna be this week. Okay, let's go upstairs. All right, we're on the top floor and this is where the living room and kitchen and eating areas are. So come check it out. All right, and then let's go see the view. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Everybody's taking pictures. Yeah. Welcome Thanks. to Hatteras. Donald We're hoping Trump. for lots of wind. Donald Trump. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I'm Lori. It's about five o'clock and we're just chilling on the deck top of our beautiful rental house for the week. Uh, the wind picked back up a little bit, um, so a lot of our housemates are out in the water attempting to kite with mixed results. 
we're kind of waiting up here enjoying our glasses of water and bottles of beer and <laughs> if it does pick up we'll probably head back out but for now we're just taking it easy and enjoying this beautiful sunset it's about to happen epic photo More oh, bottles, there's, there's, there's a bigger there's one. More epic cuddle. Here comes another epic, epic bottle. Epic bottle. Hey guys, it is pouring rain and there is no wind till this afternoon, so we are gonna go visit our friends Fred and Robert at Kitty Hawk Kiteboarding. Can't wait to see them. Hey friends. It's 11.30 and it's raining and there's no wind, so we're drinking wine. And beer. Maybe I should invest in fly surfing. Don't mind my hair. <laughs> All right, so it is Sunday. Uh, as you saw from earlier this morning, it was pouring rain. Uh, so we did some liver damage in the morning, <laughs> early morning. <laughs> liver damage, always a recommended activity. Uh, then we did some grocery shopping because we're cooking tomorrow night for the group. And now we are kiting. It is super light wind, but we've got this beautiful, amazing 15 meter speed five fly surfer kite and a nice big board that's now floating away on me. And we're pretty much the only ones on the water. Some people are starting to pump up, but uh, yeah, we're just enjoying this beautiful, calm session on the water. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. I'll see you in a bit. So I just came back from the water, was able to mow the lawn, wasn't so bad. I'm taking a short break, and then if the wind picks up a little bit more, I'll probably head back out. I'm gonna buy this windbreaker. This is gonna be great for back in Ontario, those really cold days when I'm freezing my butt off in my wetsuit. I think this is gonna help a lot. So I'm excited about this one. It's a good deal too. This is what happens when your boyfriend handles your stuff. He drops it on the ground two minutes after you buy it. <laughs> so we're back from Kitty Hawk and now we're gonna go check out the beach. Everyone's setting up and it's getting windy so Let's go see what it looks like.
All right, so I just got off the water, kited probably two and a half hours or so. Um, did some jumps, did some back rolls. The conditions are pretty gusty and there's a lot of kites around here. There's probably around 40 kiters total, uh, but there's lots of room on the water, so it's been good. Uh, no complaints, the lessons are closer to the shore and the better wind is further out. So as long as you stay further out, you're fine. Um, but yeah, and it's not too cold either. It's it's overcast, but, uh, but it feels really comfortable in a 5'3 wetsuit, so no complaints. All right guys, we are cooking dinner for 37 people. Tonight is pasta night and yeah, take a look. It's supposed to be cooking. <laughs> 8, 9, 20 oh, wow. cans of tomatoes. We're gonna add in the tomatoes for the vegetarian and we'll add in the beef for the, uh, for the, for the meat lovers.